Uh, number nine, find the midpoint of these two points. So A and B there. Now my midpoint, A, B, is going to be equal to, well, to find the midpoint, you just add the two x's together. So negative two plus six divided by two. So I just take the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So five plus minus eight over two. Try a new pencil, pen, sorry equals, um, well, that goes to 4 divided by 2 is 2, and that goes to negative 3, 2 is negative 1.5. There's my point AB. Here's part A. Now, part B is find the end point. Find end point D if C is that and midpoint CD is that. Okay, so basically what's going on here is, well, let's draw a little picture up here. So if I have one point, and then I've got a midpoint, and then I've got another point, it's got to be somewhere over here. So travel this way, and then travel that way again to get to the next end point. Now, what I can actually do, though, is just however far I go in the x, I need to go that much farther from the midpoint. However far in the y, I need to go that much farther. Here's how I do this. I'm going to take point C and write it here, negative 3, 1, and take the midpoint. 0, negative 4, and then I just look to see what I'm going down by. From negative 3 to 0, I actually go up 3. So from 0, I go up 3 to 3. From 1 to negative 4, so I have to actually drop 5 in this case. So I'm dropping 5 to the midpoint, so that means I have to drop 5 again to get to the next endpoint. So that minus 5 is negative 9. And there, well, there's my point. Now, your teacher might need you to show more work than that, but I don't. OK, question 10. Question 10, we have the equation of a circle, and they want the radius. Now, the radius squared is equal to 49. Remember, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So this is r squared, so you take the square root of both sides. I'm not worried here about the negative case, because radius is always just positive. So we're just OK, if the radius is 7, now to get the intercepts, think about what happens when I swing this circle around. As I wrap 7 and swing around a radius of 7, that means it's going to hit here at 7, and here at 7, and here at 7, and here at 7. So all your intercepts are going to be 7. Now, I just need the x-intercept. So here is going to be 7, 0, because it's over 7, up none. Now, here's a y-intercept of 0, 7, but I don't need that. They just want x-intercepts. And here, I'm back 7. So this is going to be negative 7, 0. Those are my two x-intercepts. Your y-intercepts would be 0, 7. And 0, negative 7, but they didn't ask for it. So remember, your intercepts are always just the same as your radius. Uh, OK. Is the point 6, negative 3 in, out, or on well, that they gave us? OK, well, first of all, I know that this circle that they gave us has a radius of 7. So what I would like to figure out is, is this thing farther away than the origin? Then 7. So if it's over 6 and down 3, it's somewhere like this. So this is 6, negative 3. I want to find this distance to the origin. So you can either use your distance equation, which is x squared plus y squared equals d squared. So 6 squared plus negative 3 squared equals d squared. Or if you want, you can just use r squared here. You can basically plug it into a circle equation if you want and see if this circle is going to be inside of this circle that was, that was given. I'm going to use the distance equation anyway. So distance to the origin is just Square them, take the square root. So 6 squared plus 3 squared. So 45 is equal to d squared. Take the square root of that. And you get 6.7 is equal to d. OK, from the origin out to the radius, out to the edge of the circle, is 7. So that means that this must be inside. Therefore, the point is inside the circle. Now, your teacher might also want you to show something here, like 6.7 is less than 7, just to show that it's inside the circle. Now, really, you could have gone from just this 45. You could have compared your d squared to your r squared. 45 is smaller than 49. I'd accept that as well. OK, next one. Find the distance between negative 2, 5 and 3, negative 8. Distance equation is x2 minus x1 squared. This rise, y2 minus y1 squared. So basically, distance, remember that this is d. So it is just going to be your run 
and your rise, and then it's just Pythagorean theorem. Run squared plus rise squared equals d squared. And then I take the square root of both sides, and bam, there's my distance equation. So that's how you create the distance equation, but it's also probably on a formula sheet you get. So it's the square root of negative 8. Oh, no, I'm going to do x's first. So it's the square root of 3 minus minus 2 squared plus negative 8 minus 5 squared. Distance is the square root of, what's that, 5 squared plus negative 13 squared and 5 squared plus is root 194 which is 13.9 okay there's your distance find the equation of a circle center that that diameter is 14 centimeters okay well first of all the equation is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Diameter is all the way across. Radius is halfway. So that means that the radius has got to be 7. So x squared plus y squared equals 7 squared. But we don't want you to leave the equation like this. Just square that so we get a nice number. So x squared plus y squared equals 49 because the radius is 7, which is half the di diameter of 14. Done.